So today's webinar is on how to connect to Wi-Fi and mobile data. So we'll cover what the difference is between Wi-Fi and data and how to connect to them. We'll also cover how you can share your data through a hotspot and how to manage your mobile data usage. And we'll also cover how you can use both of them at the same time. So first off, what is Wi-Fi? So Wi-Fi is a wireless technology that allows devices to connect to the internet using radio waves. So your computer or phone will send out radio waves and that will be picked up by your internet router, which you probably have in your house. And then that will send a signal along and that helps you connect to the internet. And mobile data, it's similar to Wi-Fi, but instead of your phone connecting to a router, it connects directly to a cell tower through your SIM card. So to connect to Wi-Fi, you'll first have to open your device settings. And within that, you'll see a networks page or something similar. And there you can select Wi-Fi. And then you'll see a bunch of different Wi-Fi networks. And you just tap on the one you want to connect to. And if you're not sure, you can always ask people for the Wi-Fi network name. And some Wi-Fi networks might have a password, so you'll have to enter that if it asks you to. To connect to data, you, once again, you'll have to open your settings and go to the network and internet tab or something similar to that. But instead of clicking Wi-Fi this time, click mobile data or cellular data. So there's a few different there's a few pros and cons with Wi-Fi and data. So Wi-Fi generally has faster speeds and you can have a more stable connection. And most Wi-Fi nowadays has no data limits. So you can basically stream and do things as much as you want without having to worry that you'll be charged for using too much of your Wi-Fi. But a disadvantage is that Wi-Fi is typically in limited range. You have to be near of the Wi-Fi router so that it can pick up your signals. And if you're too far, you'll be disconnected and you can't access the internet. So mobile data fixes that because it gives you wide coverage because there's cell towers in a lot of different places. So your phone can always connect to the nearest cell tower and access the internet that way. But the problem is it is slower to transmit to those radio towers because they're further away. And you do get charged for data and you probably know there's a certain cap on how much data you can use, and then you're charged for the extra. It's usually pretty hefty, so you can't always use it for everything. So data comes with another feature called Hotspot, where you're, you can essentially share your mobile data with someone else. And so your phone kind of acts like a router, and it's basically the middleman between someone else's device and the internet. So to set up a hotspot, once again, you'll have to open up your device settings. And you should see in the networks tab, probably a hotspot and tethering or personal hotspot, something like that. And there'll be a switch that says allow others to join or a portable hotspot or something similar to that. And you might have to set up a password and set up a specific network name. But once that's done, you can give the people around you the password and they can go through you with data. Especially good if you have people over and they just need to quickly connect to the internet to check for something and they don't need Wi-Fi for a long time. And it's important that you set a strong password because if not, someone else could connect your data without you realizing it and they could go over by accident and then you get charged for that, not them. So it's important to manage your data usage because as I mentioned, there are caps on data. So it's better to use Wi-Fi for big downloads from the internet or if you're streaming something on say Netflix or YouTube because that usually takes a lot of information and you can very quickly use up your data, especially if you're streaming something. You can always monitor how much data you've used in your device settings and most phones allow you to set alerts to say, hey, you've used up this much of your data, just letting you know. And you can also set a limit where usually that would be whatever your network provider tells you 
and basically it'll turn off the network, the data connection at that point, so you don't accidentally go over it and get charged. It's also good if you're on mobile data, if you're say out and about and not connected to Wi-Fi, it's good to close apps in the background, both to preserve battery life, but also that way they don't accidentally use data. And the most phones come with a data saving mode and you can turn that on so that apps only connect to the data if they really need to. And some apps also come in with their own data saving mode that you can turn on as well. So you can also use Wi-Fi and data simultaneously. This isn't available on every device, but some devices do let you use both. So you get faster speeds and you can balance, you know, using Wi-Fi for certain things so that you don't get overcharged for data. So Wi-Fi does give you those faster speeds and that unlimited usage. But data is really good if you're say out in a remote area because you don't need to haul a router around. And it's a good backup option when Wi-Fi isn't available, say if the power goes out in your house. So Wi-Fi only works within a specific area around a building because once you go too far, it's too hard for the router to pick up the signals from your phone. So it gets disconnected. But there's lots of cell towers everywhere. So data can just connect to those. And you, it's important to set a strong password for your Wi-Fi network so people don't connect to it because then hackers can get, look at whatever information you're transmitting over that network. Data, as I mentioned, usually comes with a cap. And if you're not near a cell tower, if you're in like a really remote area, then it has the same problem with Wi-Fi where it's really hard to connect. So if you want to switch between data and Wi-Fi, this is useful because that way you don't accidentally go over because you didn't realize that your data was still on. So most phones come with the default feature where if they're connected to a Wi-Fi network, they'll turn off data, but some older phones don't, and some phones might require you to set that up manually. But most phones in their quick settings, which you can get just by swiping from the top of the screen or the bottom, have an option to really easily switch off data. So there's a few more resources in this presentation that you can take a look at. And this presentation will be sent out with the email and I can put them in the chat as well. So you don't have to copy them down right now. So that's the presentation on how to connect to Wi-Fi and data. Hope that was helpful.